I don't think anybody won here. I think we all lost. Thank you, sir. Do you find that Mr. Depp has proven all the elements of defamation? Answer, yes. Do I think this was a good verdict? I don't. I don't think it was a good verdict on the law, and I don't think it was a good verdict on the facts. And it is surprising to me that so many people jumped on the bandwagon here. So many people were involved in this case, watching it, following it. And I think it was, this trial was more interesting than real life. We heard the dark, dirty secrets of Hollywood. We heard the dark, toxic secrets of their relationship. When you look at the, the public reaction to this case online, it certainly seems like Johnny Depp seemed to win over a, a lot more support than Amber Heard. What do you think is at the heart of that? She confronted a very wealthy, powerful, beloved star. And we're not supposed to do that as women. We're supposed to take it and be quiet about it. And the more your celebrity is, the more you're supposed to just be lucky this man liked you. I think it's a polarizing issue when a woman brings up something that happens in private against someone who has an amazing public image and is loved and is cherished and is respected. I think that you want to believe that she's making it up and he's wrongly accused. Do you think this case in some ways gives hope to powerful men who have been accused of terrible crimes that they can get on the front foot, they can go on the attack and it will make their issues go away? This is gonna be the playbook moving forward by powerful men. This is gonna be, they're gonna use the Depp Heard case as a template of how to beat these charges, how to start getting early with the jury pool with social media, how to control the narrative, how to control the judge, basically, the jury, the attorneys, how to set up such a narrative that it's like a wave, you can't really overcome it. This case was basically heard by social media. So where is justice? Where are victims' rights in light of the power of social media. I had clients calling me saying that they were double thinking whether they wanted to come out with their story if it was a famous perpetrator or an institution or a school or an athletics or a church. This made them take a step back. Is that what we really want? It sounds like you think this really is a step back to the dark ages, this case. I do, in a way. I think it is a step in the dark ages, but I'm also hoping, like every other civil rights movement, that evil prevails when good people do nothing. What message does this verdict send to perhaps a young woman who is thinking about speaking up about a powerful man? I think the message is, you better really think about whether you're gonna speak up or not. And I encourage her to speak up. I encourage her to break silence. I encourage truth, but you have to be aware and comfortable with what you're gonna be facing. Hello, I'm Sarah Arbo. Thanks for watching 60 Minutes Australia. Subscribe to our channel now for brand new stories and exclusive clips every week. And don't miss out on our Extra Minutes segments and full episodes of 60 Minutes on ninenow.com.au and the Nine Now app.